sit on the floor. In the White Oak section of Silver Spring, police stop a group of black men outside of McDonald's. You're smart. <laughs> if y'all stop running your mouths, because that will get you out of here. Is your goal? Is your goal to get out of here sooner? Listen. Let me so I can go. I'm talking hey, to you. Do, like do I know you? No. I know that joke right there ran his mouth. I'm coming deep. Face so I'm just gonna catch you. All right. Anything on you you know about? Nope. All right. I'm off a look. According to the post, they were called and investigated on a possibility of trespassing. It was a real problem. You know, it came like this. Would you be quiet so I can Damn. hear? You're the best thing I got so far today. So far. That's the game, my son. Well, you know what? Your cities probably want you back. You could by all means go there. After being patted down and spoken to by Montgomery County Police. Your height. Sutton. S U N T I N. Sutton. Sutton. There you go. Now we're talking English. And made fun of for how they speak English. Hey, we're trying to, you want to get out of here fast, right? So if we have more people, y'all been trying to something. They then turn to racism, using the N-word to call the detained black men. Do you want to get out of here faster? We have more of our friends to help you get out faster. Uh, nope, that's a quote. Those were your words. After she's told she's being racist, she uses the defense of, well, hey, you said it. I'm just repeating it. So ha ha to you. I would still say it because what I'm doing is repeating your words. The Washington Post printed the officer's words with asterisks, of course. They are despicable and show just how troublesome and fraught police to citizen relationships are. The police department on the back foot issued a statement. We sincerely regret the disturbing nature of this video and added that what was said goes against the department's extensive training curriculum, which includes measures against implicit bias. Acting Police Chief Marcus Jones said, I also want to emphasize that you will hear on this tape language from our officers that is decidedly unprofessional. Also unprofessional? Not following protocol. One of the responding officers, Sergeant Michael McDaniel, did not turn his body cam on when he approached the men and asked them to move along, which Jones said he was required to do. He only did that as the incident progressed. Local activists seen here marched to the 3rd District Police Station in Silver Spring. Those demands are an independent investigation, body cam footage from all the officers, names of officers involved, demotions for parties involved, more civilian oversight, citations to be thrown out among a few others. We just found out a couple of weeks ago that 55% of people arrested in Montgomery County in 2018 were black, council member Will Jawando said. Nine officers remain under investigation and may face disciplinary action, Jones said. The officer who used the N-word was assigned to desk duty, while the others remained on the street. Jones said officers are getting retrained on professional conduct. CNN reported the body cam footage also recorded the female officer mocking the men's speech and engaging in what can be perceived as sexual innuendo, as well as exchanging sexually explicit language with one of the men. The officer featured in the video is still with the Montgomery County Police Department because during a press conference, Jones mentioned that Danielle Olson would be retrained, but offered no word on whether or not she would be disciplined. Jawando, the council member in Montgomery County, said he does not believe the female officer who used the racial epithet should continue with her civic duty of being a police officer. The, if black people can say it, why can't I argument is a common defense from non-black people who ignore the words historical implications and choose not to understand the politics of communities reclaiming words used against them. 